Welcome everyone and thanks for joining me today. I'm Lorna Schumann with the Illinois State Museum and today we're at the Research and Collection Center of the museum. That's the place where we keep all the objects that we're entrusted to take care of, but it's also where we do a lot of research about Illinois. In fact, we're going to learn about an event that happened in Illinois' past that you may not have heard of. It's called the Kankakee torrent and it really changed the face of the landscape in Illinois. And to help us with that, we're going to go talk to Dr. Melissa Party. She's the curator of geology here. Hi Mel. Hey Lorna. Hey, we were just wondering, can you help us understand a little bit about the Kankakee torrent? Absolutely. Uh, so the Kankakee torrent was a enormous flood that happened 19,000 years ago. But before I talk to you about that, we need to back up a little bit and understand what Illinois was like 19,000 years ago. At that time, we were coming out of a cold period where Illinois was largely covered by a large ice sheet called a glacier. Now a glacier is a flowing mass of ice. And so this ice moves very, very slowly, kind of like a river, but very, very slowly. If you stood there and watched it, you might not be able to see it doing much. So as this ice is moving across the landscape, what it's doing is picking up little bits and pieces of rocks. Actually, sometimes it can pick up big rocks. And as those rocks are picked up and flow along with the glacier, they fall out the front. So it's kind of like a conveyor belt. The pieces of rocks move with the ice and get dumped out at the end of the glacier. That pile that forms at the end of the glacier is something called a moraine. And these moraines can be quite large. And if you actually look at what this is a geologic map, these large crescents here that you see are these, the remnants of these piles of debris that the glacier dropped off. These debris piles can act as a dam, which blocks melt water from the glacier as it melts. That water pools behind the moraine and a lake will form. Dams can sometimes break, however, and at 19,000 years ago in Illinois, this moraine gave way, and all of that water flowed out over the surface of Illinois. This was a large event, and it happened very quickly. By quickly, I mean it happened over a matter of probably a couple of days. So that massive flood of water did a lot to change the shape of Illinois at that time. Some of the things that you might be able to see today that are as a result of this flood, uh, the flow of the Illinois River actually follows where a lot of this water moved through, as well as the Kankakee River itself. This event was so massive that it actually changed where the Mississippi River had been flowing to where it is today. So it actually moved it to the west. It also moved the Ohio River further to the south. Another feature that you might be able to see as a result of this flood is actually in northern Illinois near Starved Rock, where there are canyons that were carved out by these floodwaters, which is really different from what you typically think of as the landscape of Illinois, which is generally quite flat. There are also areas along the Illinois River and the Kankakee River where there are large amounts of sand. This sand is actually a result of those floodwaters flowing and moving and then dumping off the sediment as it moved uh, across the landscape. And so these are some features that you can see today in Illinois that were changed 19,000 years ago. Wow, Mel, when I think about geology, I think about it taking really a long time, and this happened really fast. Yeah, it happened probably over a matter of days. Wow, that's just incredible. Yeah, I can't imagine being there. Like, if you were an animal seeing this happen, it would have been really scary, actually, probably. Yeah, it would have wiped a whole bunch of animals and moved them and 
Yes. Changed it quite a bit. Yes. Yeah. Well, thank you so much. I think that really helped us understand the importance of the Kankakee Torrent. And I want to thank all of you also for joining us today. Thanks a lot. Take care.